أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله. The whole idea behind Go Abroad Economics, uh, we're quite keen on getting our students international experiences. Uh, and right now, the only thing, traditionally, the only thing we've offered was sending students away um, to go to another university for a year. So this is a nice chance for some of our students to get to experience other cultures and to study some um, country in more detail uh, without having to go away for, for an entire year. Well, I think it's allowed us all to explore another part of economics that we wouldn't necessarily do in a typical course. I think that by having one country and then one topic uh, to really delve into has provided a new, unique experience in economics. Uh, so instead of just focusing on energy as a whole, we've looked at it through one lens, uh, which, is, which has allowed us to get more in depth and uh, gain a better understanding and grasp it all. Edinburgh is, I think it's the 17th best university in the world. And I applied for economics because I wanted to go to a really prestigious and highly reputated institution in the UK. And economics specifically is because I had a friend here and said that the teaching was awesome and that the gradings were, like they give you a lot of options and the feedback is great. So I think I made the right choice. Um, so, in our group focused on Dubai and international context, which is sort of everything and nothing at the same time. It involved lots of just general statistics and comparisons with of Dubai and the UAE between uh, the country and the global markets. Um, I specifically tried to do a bit more on uh, whether or not Dubai and the UAE is overheating again after the crisis. and. Um, in Dubai, I could not answer the question because it seems like it's growing and it obviously everybody we talked to was really, you know, encouraging and everybody was really hopeful and kept referring to, you know, the vision of the company and mission of the, of the government and how everything is be get, getting better. But clearly, that, that is not the only opinion that should be taken into account. So. The question is still there in my mind, so I guess I should probably keep investigating that. My research area was, uh, together with Sean, <clears throat> we dealt with free trade zones and the issue of free trade zones in Dubai versus the mainland of, um, of Dubai. So what incentives are there for firms to invest in um, free trade zones and what are the benefits that the economy of the UAE seeks to gain from uh, from creating these special economic zones. The advantages of free trade zones versus um, the, the mainland of, of Dubai, really, the distinguishing feature really is the, the fact that within a free trade zone you don't require 51% GCC ownership, so you don't have to have a local Emirati or someone from a Gulf, um, Gulf any other Gulf national um, necessarily owning 51% of the firm. 
Um, so in a way you have complete ownership of, of the firm and on top of that you obviously have exemptions from any sort of duties, any sort of taxes, uh, so that will also include corporate as well as income taxes. Uh, my group did research on infrastructure in, in the United Emirates and in particular in Dubai. Um, we looked into real estate, we looked into uh, aviation infrastructure and even ground infrastructure, um, trains and um, metro lines, buses. Um, the general conclusion was that the Emirates and Dubai in particular have invested heavily in, in the aviation infrastructure in the past and should now probably focus more on, on domestic infrastructure, ground infrastructure. So one of my, my partners uh, in my research group said that the um, ground infrastructure is lacking demand and investment. So he, was, he said bef in, in advance of um, going to Dubai, he said that buses aren't used at all, the metro isn't, ver isn't used very much by, by the locals or experts. Um, and going to Dubai, we actually experienced, yes, there is a high demand and uh, people are using the metro and it's good that there is uh, further investment and that those metro lines are going to be expanded in the future because um, people do use those, those kinds of uh, transport. I gotta testify, come up in the spot looking extra fly For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky Gotta testify, come up in the spot looking extra fly For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky Back when they thought pink polos are hurt the rock Before Cam got the shit to pop, the doors closed I felt like bad boy street team, I couldn't work the locks Now let's go Take them back to the plan Me and my mama hopped in that U-Haul van Any pessimists, I ain't talk to them Plus I ain't had no phone in my apartment Let's take them back to the club At least about an hour I stand on line I just wanted to dance I went to Jacob an hour after I got my advance I just wanted to shine J favorite line, dog in due time Now they look at me like, damn dog, you what I am A hip-hop legend, I think I died in an accident Cause this must be heaven I gotta testify, come up in the spot looking extra fly For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky Gotta testify, come up in the spot looking extra fly For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky Now let's take them high Was the shit to rock Back when Slick Rick got the shit to pop I'd do anything to say I got it Damn them new loafers hurt my pocket Before anybody wanted k West Beast, Me and my girl split the buffet at KFC Dog, I was having nervous breakdowns Like man, these niggas that much better than me Baby, I'm going on an airplane And I don't know if I'll be back again Sure enough, I sent the plane tickets But when she came to kick it, things became different Any girl I cheated on, she just skidded on Couldn't keep it at home, thought I needed a knee along I'm trying to right my wrongs But it's funny them same wrongs, help me write this song now I gotta testify Come up in the spot looking extra fly for the day you die, you gon' touch the sky. You gon' touch the sky, baby girl, testify. Come up in the spot, look at extra fly. For the day you die, you gon' touch the sky. Yes, 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 guess who's on third? In one word or one sentence, how would you describe your experience in Dubai? <laughs> uh, I don't even know how many words I want. If you said three words, I'd still be struggling. Um, what is one? I don't even know. I just don't even know. It was also was the one that came to my mind. What well, one sentence? Well, let's say one, one sentence. One sentence. No, I'll go for the word. I'll go for awesome because it was already sitting there, and I really like 
like uh, particularly at, like in the port, I was feeling genuine awe, right? Like looking around at however many hundreds of thousands of containers there were, and those very rapidly moving cranes, and all the numbers that guy told me, and I can't even remember what they all were. There was a, there was a genuine sense of awe, especially having been at the port of Grangemouth only a few days earlier with their two tiny little cranes and their minuscule five to seven hundred container ships. Seeing Dubai was was definitely awesome. Visionary, and that's just. Clearly, just because of the, um, as Madeira said, the use, the common use of the words vision and mission, um, so vision. Eye opening. Eye opening. Awe inspiring. Awesome. Cool. I I just thought it was um, an enlightening trip. I've never been to a country like this before, uh, and it's quite interesting to see. Um, Keep it rolling. See what life is like over there. Uh, feels good to be home, baby. Feels good to be home. Uh, so get good grades, uh, and then when the application comes out, say something more or less sensible on it, right? So, so the application generally requires some some commentary on some relevant economic issue which relates to the destination that you're going to. So you want to say something sensible about that, and then you want to have had good grades, and that's really it. I mean, those are the main criteria uh, for coming on a trip. Cool. So if you're interested in getting involved, we're, we're going to send around um, an email to, to all economic students with some clear guidelines on um, how, how you can apply and, and what the application process will be like. Uh, the application process is quite involved, um, and, that, and that's by design, because we want to make sure that the, um, that the students go on this trip, that the students who apply are the ones that are really keen, and these are the ones that would possibly get the most out of the trip. Um, so if you're interested in getting involved, just, just uh, hold tight and we'll, we'll send you out an email.